good morning everyone and welcome to the channel this is shy dreams thought i would do a video uh proof of concept concept that it works maybe even show you how to set it up or at least what i've gotten to play um gears of war 3 on the rpcs3 it is far from complete um just like it states it's working on the rpcs3 but it's not working like level one through the end like on the dev kit but you can play around with some levels do load and others do not so this is just a proof of concept video just to prove that it does work so what you would do is you would download whatever you know works for you or based on your internet speed i mean slow torrent 7-zip i say download it if you can depending on if you want to wait or you know you don't have no interruptions or anything like that. So, um, I, t I took the liberty of downloading it already. Um, to my downloads folder here. And what you want to do is extract this one where it says um, Gears of War 3, May 19th, and it's working. So, you're going to extract that to a folder. Then it's going to make this folder here. Which then you're going to copy that or cut it and paste it to your PlayStation 3 emulator. So you want to go to RPCS3, whatever, you know, whatever you got been named. You want to go to Dev Hard Drive 0 and you want to put it in the game folder. So you're going to paste it in here. Then you're going to go to your RPCS3. You want to go to custom configuration or change custom configuration and then here are the settings first you want to change it to OpenGL because for some oddball reason it's jittery um, when you use Vulkan I don't think it was really optimized for Vulkan so next you want to go to the IO right here where it says keyboard handler you want to change it from null to basic so you can use the dev kit function then you want to go over to the advanced tab and you want to click this tab here where it says debug console mode you want to hit the save button and then you want to boot with your custom configuration so what you want to do is come here and paste the command in and you want to hit it twice As you can see, the screen went black, but after a few seconds, it should load. Yeah, he's got a few new tricks to show you too. So at this point, to get the game to, so you can actually do some real gameplay, you're gonna hit the Y key, which is gonna bring up this prompt. Here. You're gonna take this all the way back so you get to the cursor. Once you get to the cursor, you want to type in this command. You get started, you hit the tab key, and then you're going to put it in the plate, which is marked. And yes, you're going to get some type of graphic, but it will clear up. basically it. Um, you can basically do it little exploring. It does have a lot of commands. Um, you can play around with them. I just say have fun with it. So I guess I'll just do a little running around here. There's no enemies in the level of these men that's like functioning. But just like I said it's just a proof of concept video. As you can see it does work. And it was never optimized. I guess it's, they were just trying it out before Microsoft actually ended up with it. Oh wait, here we go. Showtime. Oh, that's pretty cool.
basically been like an empty level. Say play around with it, see what you can do. But like I said, it's definitely far Hopefully, the RPC S3 team will do whatever it takes to get the emulator to run with this. Alright, everybody, take care. Peace.